Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. And today, I'll be discussing about an... Ah oh, yes. Africa. One of God's most glorious creations. With some of the most well-known exotic wildlife. Filled with the strangest of creatures, and some of nature's strongest too. But, we're not here for that. We're here for mask making. Wait, 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 wait. Why would I make a video titled, Art Project? It's because I don't want to get trapped in a room during my lunch break for missing out on homework. N no child probably would want that either. I certainly don't, and I'm a child, legally. Um, yeah, I don't want to have detention. Alright, next segment now. During the de time where we were designing our prototype design for the masks, we were, like, there was several African design, African symbolisms going through my head. However, one really stuck. Wait, wait. I'm here. Hold on. Let, let's just take a look inside my brain and see what it was. Uh, what is that? <laughs> That's right. Elephants. Then, on the day when we were set to begin making our masks, I severely messed up. Just to let you know, the teacher looks significantly better than is represented here. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off of the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Thomas was a tank engine who lived at a big station. He had six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel, a short stumpy boiler, and a short stumpy dome. He was a fussy little engine, always pulling coaches about. He pulled them to the station ready for the big engine to take them out on long journeys. And when the trains came in and the people had gone out, he would pull the empty coaches away so that the big engines could go and rest. Don't inhale the mod rock, it's really bad for your lungs. I may not have a brain, gentlemen, but I have an idea. <laughs> Cancer premium. <laughs> Get out. Okay. <laughs> now, after this, I was told to... to do another design for a mask, which... I remember being said that it was the final design. However, apparently, it was an extension for the starter task. I still don't know who's right. I think that I'm right. However, that did lead me to get a detention for missed homework. The only reason I served it and not skipped it was because I was trying to be an especially good boy that week and get a plane model, which my mum had promised me, and I didn't get. So... Now that's good at least. Now the week after was the first time I could I had formed my mask. Now completely having split off of the elephant deviation. Now it's planning to look more like a skull. And that week accentuated its chin and its cheekbones. I can't do that anymore. Well, this is this is a very short chapter. I can't really go further into detail because that's really all that, that happened. Well, the mask did end up looking like this. Next.
next segment, I guess. That's it. Last week, I had gastro. I, I I got caught lacking. I I had gastroenteritis, according to the doctor. That's what the doctor said. I had gastroenteritis. I had to take like Gaviscon for, like, over the weekend. Cause, like, I spent all of Friday in A and E. So yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking through. Miss, please give please give me like a 100%. Please pass me. Please don't make me have to do this again. Currently, it's 1.35 in the morning. Um, and they said that homework is going to help build up my resilience and my courage and stuff. I, d I don't think it has. Please, for all this effort that I've gone to. Please, can I have a hundred miss, please? Alright, thank you, bye.